Today I'm looking at how to delete a variable in Julia. Uh, it seems that if you have a large array allocated, it might take up a lot of memory on the computer. And uh, one option when working with the REPL is to delete that variable, to remove that variable so that there's no, uh, so that it's not taking up so much memory on the computer if you don't want to work with it anymore. So first step I'm going to do is allocate a variable. So I've, I've tried this out just before I hit record, but let's try it again with A. Uh, now I haven't used arrays before. I, I'm new to learning Julia and I'm sharing my journey as I go with YouTube to see if we can uh, work together to build some sort of uh, dashboard or program or API. Uh, these are the projects I'm working towards with Julia to hopefully expand my data analysis knowledge a bit. So bear with me, you'll have to forgive me if I'm not too familiar with the exact Julia syntax of things because I, I am a programmer, but this is my first time really using Julia. So let's try to allocate something for us to clear. So I've got a, does that, is that how you use array? Excellent. Okay, so we've got our array here, our A. Can we use this? I've opened up Atom uh, and Juno, which is the suggested way, the suggested Julia IDE. If you're interested in how I install Julia and Juno, I've got a video uh, linked in the description below, so feel free to check it out. So we've got our uh, array allocated here to A. Excellent. And now the suggestion I found on the internet was to try to clear the, uh, the, the variable like this, to type in clear uh, and then the variable name. However, if we press enter, there's no function clear. So the next suggestion, so this, this was removed in a previous version of Julia. So the next suggestion on how to uh, remove the memory, so how to achieve the goal of removing that memory from your computer or freeing up that memory from your computer, is simply to set the variable A to nothing. So we try that instead. So we assign nothing to A. And now at some stage, the Julia garbage collector will come through and remove those that one, two, three, four that's no longer referenced anywhere in the computer's memory. Uh, garbage collection is a complicated topic and probably one for another video. However, it looks like we've managed to clear our variable A. So uh, if you have any questions about this, please leave a comment below and I'll see if I can get back to everyone. If the comments are coming up often, I'll try to make a video on the topic as well. So thanks for watching.